Hey, what's up? It's Ryder. Today we are reviewing the Peony Trainer from Indie K Parts. So the Oni Trainer comes at a pretty fair price of 60 bucks, including shipping in the USA. So the Squiddy B is around the same price because it's 55 bucks, not including shipping. So they're basically the same price. And this thing is, uh, it, it's a large valley. It's about 11 inches, give or take. And it definitely adds to the quality of flipping. I mean, if this thing was shorter, it, it wouldn't just, it wouldn't be as good, period. And to compare it to a uh, normal sized valley, I mean, the difference is pretty huge. I mean, look at that. That's giant compared to this. This is a pretty average sized balazong. This is what a standard Balzong looks like, kind of the size of a Squiddy B. But the thing is, like, it's just, if you compare them, like, it, it's so much bigger. And the flipping quality isn't half bad. Um, actually, this is the best plastic trainer I, I have ever flipped. I have gotten a few other plastic trainers, and this is definitely a great flipper. This thing is neutral and it can do pretty much everything you want. It's a really crisp flipper and you know, it is great. This thing performs really well, very neutral um, and very surprisingly well, to like just substantial. Um, it doesn't feel exactly like cheap plastic, even though it kind of is just cheap plastic. Spec wise, uh, so six inches, uh, the handles are six inches, blade is 4.8. So all together, it's 10.8 inches long. So pretty darn long. It's made out of some polymer. It is channeled, has a really interesting tang pin system. Like weirdest tang pin system I've ever seen in a Balzong. So I appreciate the originality and some washers. Now, one of the main selling, uh, selling points of the Paoni is it is flexible. This Balzong is, is uh, flexible. I don't want to flex it too much because it is kind of cold out today. So, it's a little difficult to flex it. But, that is one of the main selling points. And at first, NDK Arts did not think at all that it would sell. Um, but he showed the prototype on Instagram and people seem to like it, and now it's like literally the main selling point. So people, um, people definitely like that this thing is flexible, like because it's never been done before. Like, name someone else that makes a flexible battle song before him, before he made one. Because of course the the Lotus is a thing, but the person that makes the Lotus, um, Jack something, Jack something makes the Lotus and. Uh, NDK Arts actually helped him start making it, so it's a whole thing. See, I have been flipping uh, these for a while. I've had Ani's for a real long time. I mean, I've only had this for about five months or so, and like I've gotten used to flipping this pretty well, and I like this a lot, but I don't know if a lot of people know what the old version looks like. And the old version is a little different, but pretty similar to this. See, the new ver or the old version, this thing, it is uh is slightly different. Now they look pretty similar at first glance, but you do notice a few uh, differences. Uh, I've been flipping this more, um, so there's. It's became soft, so a handle gap isn't as much. Um, that's just with due to flipping this for like two hours today, because um, the more you flip it, the less solid it becomes and the more um, flexible it is. Um, but that will just go away over time about like how cold it is and like the warmth of your hands makes it more flexible. And if you like, I don't know, throw it in the freezer, it'll become more solid again. So that, I don't know, weird quirks, you know. Anyway though, the difference is um, side to side, they don't look too, too different, but you notice the blade shapes are different. 
just right. This small dip makes this thing flip so much different. This thing is a lot more handle bias. And not only, that's not the only difference, but the other difference is inside the handle, not inside the handles. These handles over here, no jimping. No jimping leads to less grip. So something like, I don't know, ladders. Doing an infinite ladder is a lot more difficult than it would be doing it on here. Of course, if you have good ladder control, really doesn't matter. But that is a single flaw really with this. And another flaw with the old versions is eh, mine came blemished, pretty blemished. But the newer mod, and I've seen someone else's came blemished as well. But the newer models, NDK has had it a lot more refined and nobody's getting blemishes at all. It's like, everything's perfect. Um, so I don't know what he changed, but maybe because mine was uh, custom with gold dust and other persons that had a problem was kind of custom as well. But you know, definitely consider that. But this, I would say I'm, if you are a fan of handle bias, I would rather you get this because this has a nice handle bias. Really, really nice. Um, it is my second favorite Balazong plastic trainer out of, you know, my collection of about six. Looking at the design real quick. This is all very nice. There's actually aliens uh, in the handle, which I find awesome. Logo is right here and here. That's a bite marker. Like I said before, interesting tame pin system. And jimping. So the real question is cop or drop? And this is a most definitely cop. This thing, this thing's great. Um, it's unbelievably well for plastic. Now, I might get a zippy. I'm thinking of getting one and it'd be awesome to compare the two because this thing, I never, I would never expect plastic to flip so well. So, and if a zippy flips better than an Ani trainer, that's wild, that's gonna be wild. But right now, this thing is amazing and I'm gonna be honest with you, I liked it more than my Nautilus like it yeah I liked it more than my Nautilus because uh well I sold my Nautilus did not like that thing a lot I mean it was fine but it wasn't the best I mean I'd rather flip my Atrophus Kratos 2 which I sold because I needed a new Balazon <laughs> but I liked the Paoni a lot more than the Nautilus so yes caught this thing this thing is a 100% get.